you. Ah! God damn! He's relentless. Motherfucker, calm your ass down. Are you angry with your marriage counseling? Shit! I'm not your counselor. Don't be mad at me that your fucking marriage ain't working out because you being um, a neg negligent uh, parent to your child or to each other. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, get away! The Arms is in the house, baby, and welcome back once again to my next episode of VGR Let's Play. Okay, my introduction is kind of lame and shit right now, but I had to keep quiet as much as possible because right now it's literally 1.06 a.m. in the morning, and I'm trying to keep everyone asleep as best as possible. Then again, it's going to be hard for me not to keep myself going quiet with Mr. X shows up out of nowhere. And especially if my father is sleeping on, like, in the theater room that he just want to relax himself every once in a while and I'm gonna try to be respectful for my birdie to keep quiet even though she needs to understand how fucking Christ she needs to be when it comes to me recording but then again I actually do have a little fun when me cussing at my bird when she kept squawking and shit whenever she wants to talk <laughs> so I know some of you guys who have been sticking around with me in the past that they were saying I have you already played this game here's the thing I was recording this game with the old PC with the old uh, desktop and the old laptop. But while my face cam was like all the stuff for reaction video along with that uh, desktop is not at the right uh, require uh, uh, at the right requirement for you in order to make it work for your recording session. And you guys notice that um, that the lag of my reaction footage is just really really bad that I wanted to start over with a clean slate. Since um, I did it in 2019 I'm gonna do it in 2020 in a clean slate and make it look um, professional and properly as possible because um, you guys deserve to uh, have fun with the content in my channel and I want to give you the best um, content I can offer for you guys because like, it's possible I might remake, I may redo the other games in the past because um, the other games in the past like it's basically had the same problem issues and stuff that whenever you record yourself with the old shitty computer that is not properly synchronized like. The computer I was using for my laptop it was uh, Intel Insight, and the desktop I was using an Intel uh, um, uh, Pentium, I believe. I don't know. It's like the uh, the processors themselves are not the right requirement for you to record yourself for doing stuff like this uh, for the computer. And also, I'm playing this on the PC as well. So, without further ado, let's get into this game. And um, I've already beaten this game one time in session, and I've already gotten the the uh, unlimited handgun ammunition along with the uh, unlimited knife and um, going after the unlimited knife is uh, requires you to destroy all those uh, raccoon dolls that you see throughout the whole uh, raccoon city so we play either both Le Leon scenario and Claire scenario and then later on there are like specific scenarios you have to uh, play as certain characters in order to get those uh, specific items and such and let me just move this out the way it could be a real pain in the ass to be going after all uh, those kind of things. So, um, I wanted to be a little better and stuff. I wanted a clean slate, and I wanted to play this game in a professional mode because, um, but first of all, why not? Second, it's more fun to play. And thirdly, um, a while back, I was trying to play this game in hardcore mode and stuff, and I was at the sewer section. But the thing is, I stopped playing because, like, you know, I was trying to get one more unlimited ammunition for the gun that's like the automatic uh, rifle and stuff that's unlimited. But the only catch is that you have to beat the game under 2 hours and 30 minutes. I was nowhere near beating the uh, game at that um, at that speed limit because the game is like stressing me out that uh, the, the enemies are stronger and I can't even get myself through. And you only only get one uh, unlimited uh, gun and stuff like the rest of it you don't get unlimited weapons at all. And plus, um, they're gonna make you eat, um, waste shit tons of ammunition for the game as you, um, play, uh, either character and such. I know Claris and uh, Scenario is easier to play as because, like, you get the most health along the way. But Leon Scenario, when you play in hardcore mode, is a bitch. Why is that fucking mouse icon keep showing up? There you are. Okay. Now, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with Claire Redfield first for Scenario A, and then go on Leon Scenario, all uh, as Scenario B. So, it makes sense though, because like, there's some scenarios that uh, makes a lot of sense, and I know some of you guys want me to shut up talking about it, but 
We'll talk more about it later in the future. So with, uh, without further ado, let's play as Claire Redfield in hardcore mode. And yes, we're going to be playing hardcore mode, and I'm allowed to use unlimited uh, handgun ammunition. If you guys going to like it, kiss my black ass and, and just enjoy the show. Because I ain't going to be put up with this bullshit. With this limited ammunition. Look, man, I'm serious, okay? I saw this with my own eyes. Oh, I believe you, buddy. I believe you. <laughs> Just tell us a story. Tell us a story. Okay, well, it was last Friday night. I was walking home from the bar, and this woman... I still say that's a nasty-ass burger. No matter how many times I play it, it's so fucking nasty. <laughs> okay, tell us, be honest now, how many drinks did you have? No, man, I, I barely had a buzz on her. Oh, come on. Look, just listen, all right? She got closer, and I got a good look at her. You had to see her eyes, her nose, her whole face. It looked like it was rotting. Yeah. She looked like a corpse. Like a walking corpse, man. <laughs> Sounds like my wife. God damn, dude. I didn't like it. I haven't been able to sleep since that night. All right, calm down, buddy. Calm down. Just, hey, you got to stay strong, okay? Don't give in to fear out there, right? Yeah, well, you got that right. If you freeze up around these things, it'll sink to teeth and you. Just getting good. Yeah, that that truck driver sounds like he have a really happy marriage life. If you don't mind me saying. I need some sleep. Oh shit. That's every uh, driver's nightmare to uh, run over somebody in a heavy rain like that. Oof, that's just brutal. Yeah, the next thing you know, she's like literally stuck in all uh, the uh, trucks, uh, the, the trucks on all, all, all front view, and all of a sudden it's like stuck to it like a fucking insect. That's actually pretty random. The more you think about it, and then the, uh, the trucker had to scrape it up with a shovel. What did you do? <laughs> Oh my god, look at the gas price at that time. Man, I would love to go driving with that kind of gas price, but I will. nope. I gotta go. Nope, we had to do things the hard way. Because you're a clever headfield, that's why. Okay. Yeah, I'm here. So we get to play as Claire Redfield. Um, this gas station reminds me of Resident Evil 3, and I am looking forward to playing that game. I already pre-ordered it for both the PlayStation 4 and the PC version. So I'm gonna be playing that game on the PC version um, for us to have fun together. Hello? Hello? Anybody here? No, just us old grannies who just happened to be walking corpse. Hello? No soliciting! Get off! Piss off! But I really wanted to play Resident Evil uh, 3 for the uh, remake version and stuff, because, like, I also plan to play the classic version of Resident Evil 2 and 3. This is, I'll uh, show you uh, how I'm all excited I am to play this game. Hey, buddy, you alright? Wait here. I'll check it out. Uh, buddy, you're gonna die. You're gonna die. I just hope I don't die along the way. Cause like, I only have like, limited ammunition I have for me right now. And then I had to make a run for it. Oh yeah, by the way, if you try going back to the door, this happens. Hey! What the hell? Yeah, you get locked out, so basically you, you're forced to go any further. Alright, let's see what we got here. Hopefully I don't die like a complete boob again. Because in hardcore difficulty, those who don't know, is extremely difficult. Oh, you got something, alright. You got bitten! Ooh! Oof. Oh! 
Oh, fuck me. Throughout this whole all uh, all uh, all screen uh, game uh, all test play. Here, no, stay the fuck back. Okay. You don't need to fight him because like these guys are stronger in this difficulty. And now some of you guys ask me, why are you playing this game in this difficulty? Well, why not? It's a little fun to have a little extra challenge. Get away from me! So let me just use this key item real fast. You don't get that limited ammunition uh, already. Immediately. Just run. Just fucking run. Fuck you. Just run. Run. Run, 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 run. Get down. And those of you who never played the classic version, those are the same exact line you've seen in the classic game. I'll play that in my channel soon. You alright? Yeah, I think so. Thanks. You can thank me later when we're safe. Really should. It's a mob! It's an angry mob! Get in the car! Ugh. Okay, that's my fucker. Get in. Hold on. See you, bitch ass. <laughs> what the hell is going on? I don't know. Hopefully they'll have some answers at the police station. Wait, you're a cop? Yeah, Leon Kennedy. You are? Claire. Claire Redfield. You live around here? No. I'm looking for my brother. He's a cop too. Well, it's a good thing we found each other. I don't know what to expect anymore. I will admit that Leon's a bit handsome for his young age, it says, and Claire is fucking hot. So I'm willing to admit that. The only thing I have to complain about this game is that every time you get caught by the zombie itself, at least the developer uh, doesn't give you a fighting chance to defend yourself without using any uh, knives or hand grenades and shit. That's what I fucking hate the most, cause like, every time you get caught by the zombie itself, they don't give you a button mastery to push them back away. I hate that. And all of a sudden, they force you to get yourself bitten. That's the only downside I hate about this game. Well, other than that, the game is awesome. I love everything about how exciting uh, atmospheric you get for like the dark ambience that the game offers is really good. And on top of that, um, the, uh, no matter how many times you play this game, uh, no matter what sort of difficulty you get into, like hardcore difficulty, it will give you a sudden sheer uh, fear that the game is gonna fucking scare the shit out of you. That this game is so legitimately scary that even I'm scared of playing this game sometimes, especially when it comes to dealing with a certain enemy like Mr. X. And don't even get me started on Nemesis, too. If you guys haven't seen my reaction video for the Resident Evil 3 uh, trailer, the link is in the description Attention down below. All citizens. Due to the citywide outbreak, you are advised to take shelter at the Raccoon City Police Station. Free food and medical supplies will be provided to everyone in need. Oh my god, this is so unreal. Police station's not much farther. They'll know something. Yeah, but what if we're the only ones? What if there's no survivors? No, there's survivors. It's a big city. There has to be. Hmm. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit a little negligent right there, huh, Leon? Alright, fine. A lot of false believing about uh, there's gonna be uh, death of all around us and such. False hope. Well, be my guess. See if I care. Like walking from here. Yeah, good call. I don't know backing up is pretty much an option because of that. Man, the truck driver? Oh, why is she bite me? <laughs> It's 
pretty cool how they did something like this. Like, if you play each one of the scenario, either Claire or Leon first from scenario A, we actually uh, uh, determine uh, which uh, character goes to a certain direction. This also you can do like a 180 turn for them to go to the police station um, first, and then the other one goes there last. That's actually pretty cool. They did that on the classic version as well, so I like the idea. It's a really cool touch. Oh! And Clara, you should not be hearing right now, because like your ears all should be like blurring around, uh, not hearing all uh, after that uh, gas explosion. In fact, you should be hearing ring noise. In fact. Claire, Claire, you okay? Yeah, I'm all right. How about you? I can't stay here. It's not safe. No shit, Sherlock. It's definitely not safe. I'll meet you at the station. It's definitely not safe. And get me the fuck out of here. I better get away from this bitch. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to playing. Gotta keep moving. I know. Let me talk. I'm looking forward to playing Resident Evil 3 Remake. It's gonna be so awesome. Cause like, I wanna have a natural reaction playing that game. Let me talk. Like, I wanna have a natural reaction playing that game. Uh, uh, when it comes out in April, it's gonna be so awesome. And yes, I'm gonna be playing the classic version for this game as well, along with the Resident. Shut up. Let me talk. When it comes to Resident Evil 3 uh, uh, Classic as well, I'm going to be playing both of those games uh, for my channel. Because, like, I already did my practice run for... Uh, oh, shit, 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 shit. Go, 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 go. This way, this way, this way. I already did my practice run uh, with um, Resident Evil 3 a little bit. Just so I get myself a fresh start. And then later on, uh, close the damn gate. And then, um, are you going to say anything else, Claire? Okay. So you don't have to worry about her saying anything else. I'm gonna get rid of this gun. Cause like, um, uh, um, when I was test playing Resident Evil 3 and stuff, uh, I haven't played in a long time. Shut up! I'm talking. It's like, um, next thing you know, the game it brought back so many crazy memories that it was scary as fuck that the uh, nemesis would just chase your ass and shit. Oh, let me just get this out the way. So get rid of this and get rid of this. Let me just get rid of this while we're at it. Cause like once you see a ch check mark on, on the corner of the screen of the item, then you don't need any more. Need to get this bad boy out and get this out. Oh yeah. Say hello to the beautiful samurai edge. It had inf infinite ammunition it says. Like you can see a little screen right there. Oh, so beautiful. Too bad I can't see the light pose right there. So I'm gonna be using this for the little he uh, let's play and such. And if you guys are gonna complain about it, that's your fucking problem. I don't give a fuck. So let me just pick up this one. Sad to say I can't get no infinite ink weapon. Otherwise, I would've been taking advantage of this. Alright. And yeah, like, uh, there was like a dick move, uh, dickish moment for you to have the requirements for beating the game on, um, on certain difficulty. Like, um, if you want to get the infinite rocket launcher and stuff, I mean, I like to call it the infinite, um, uh, pest, uh, pest of all uh, 5.0. Next thing you know, it's just like, it's like this fucking thing is gonna, um, you have to beat the game with the only unlimited, uh, knife and such, but when it comes to unlimited gun, you're not allowed to use it. Where are you? Oh shit. They're inside too. David, Marvin, you there? I found a way out. It's in here. See, why can't we do that? Like, we wanted to just push the enemy away, but nope, the developers say, fuck that noise, we're gonna make them suffer. Ugh, I fucking hate that. I need to help me first. Cause like, um, oh yeah, by the way, even though I am carrying an infinite knife and stuff with me, here's what happens if you try to get near it with the infinite knife. The game won't let me do it. They guys say, "Fuck you, bitch! You ain't gonna use it unless you wanna play the our, a game our way, either you like it or not." Like, fuck you, developers, for doing that. <laughs> I know it's a bit dickish me say that, but I'm gonna be realistic here. Actually, I'm gonna just put this up because, like, I'm gonna hold on to this for emergency use. But yeah, I really wanna play the Resident Evil 3, uh, both the remake and the classic version. So I'm gonna play the classic version first, and until the um. Until the, um, 
until the shit the remake version comes out, I'm gonna get the classic one out the way. So, cause um, I need to get back to the game and get back to the the Josh mechanic for Resident Evil 3. Cause um, I just hope that the Josh mechanic for the remake version is gonna be very efficient compared to the one that we have in the classic version. And yes, I'm gonna be showing off all the cutscenes because why not? It's necessary. Oh, great. Everything is full of muck. Because the last time I played it in my old scenarios tab, I was playing with uh, Leon first. Don't worry, I'm gonna get back to that in the future. For now, this is gonna fo focus on Claire A and Leon B. This is how all uh, flashes is meant to be used. Cause like, I know that we play Luigi's Mansion and stuff on uh, Luigi's Mansion Three. Then, <laughs> sorry. Also, the whole point of uh, you having a flash, like it's like um, the fuck. Like, the whole point of having the flashlight in Luigi's Mansion is like, you gotta go, go walk around this is a very dark area. But then... Focus, Claire. Well, you just Focus. let me talk. But anyway, like, uh, next thing you know, that uh, Luigi's Mansion 3 doesn't even have that uh, ambience for you to see in the dark. It's like, you just use it to flash the ghosts and stuff. But then everybody else on the internet is complaining about that the most, so... I'm kind of with them on this point, because, like, they do take away the, uh, the ability to see through the dark and not allowing you to see what the hell's going on, so Plus, I need to come back here in the future, because when I get a certain item, I'm going to use that to get around places. Hopefully, for the love of God, I don't lose too much of my health on this gameplay, because I almost likely will. Because it's hard for me to, to, to keep your health up if you get bitten one time and all of a sudden, you're down to danger mode. <laughs> Again, when it comes to me playing this game on unlimited use of the uh, handguns, yet, I'm playing this game on, on with unlimited handguns and stuff. When it comes to playing in hardcore mode, I'm allowed to use that. Cause like, fighting a mission for this uh, difficulty is not a, a joke. It's not a joke. Again, if your hardcore gamers out there don't like that idea, you can piss, kiss my ass and say, piss off and then we just play the game in peace. Cause like, this game is hard enough as it is with uh, unlimited mission. I don't give a fuck what y'all say saying. Like, oh, he's playing with an unlimited lizard. He's not a true gamer. Fuck off. I just want to play the game myself. Like, plus, it's a lot more fun to play a little uh, excitement. It's also, oh, um, oh my god. It's like it's a lot more fun to play the game in a hard difficulty for a little entertainment. Hurry! Open up! Open this goddamn door! Nah, I'm just gonna take my time talking to my audience. I know some audience don't mind me saying I'm talking swearing a lot. I'm just, like I said in the very beginning of my uh, welcome video set, I'm as realistic as I can get. I'm here. If they don't like it, they, uh, they can just get out of my channel. You used to be. I'm so sorry. Don't be. That's not your fault. Yeah, so we got that from our old advantage. So, yeah. Also, there's gonna be a zombie all coming through this doorway. Motherfucker. I'm gonna use this in my gameplay as well. Get out of here! Die, I say! Die! Are you serious? I said die! And yes, you have to constantly reload your initiative in order for you to get by. So I highly recommend you run. These guys are gonna start coming through the windows. Bitch! Back off! Run! 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 Alright, Claire. Time to get out of here! Fuck! Oh, 
Fuck me, man. You all right? Yeah. You're safe. For now. <clears throat> a brother saved to uh, saved us to the rescue. Mom, Thanks. Obviously, someone taught you well. Yeah, I know how to take care of myself. Come on. <clears throat> so nobody knows what caused this? There's a lot of theories. But all I know for sure is that this place is crawling with zombies. Yeah, you're telling me. Hey, hey, keep that on. Just in case. I'm not gonna be around long. Once I find Chris, we're out of here. You really Chris's sister? Yeah. Why? Did you find something? He's on vacation. Europe, I think. Left weeks ago. Vacation? Let's... That's great news. Well, I've got more for you. Looks like there might be a way out through this secret passageway. Good. <gasps> hey. Uh, hey, we should probably get you to a hospital. Oh, 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 forget about me. I can take care of myself. No. Don't be ridiculous. You're going to need some help. Listen, Claire. Save yourself. So you can see your brother again. Now. You probably need this. No, I'm not taking that. You're gonna. I'm with Claire on this one because I got me a, a better knife. If you see one of those things, no matter who they were, you can't hesitate. Take them out if you can, or you run. <laughs> I rather really go along with running, especially in this difficulty. They don't fuck around. Obviously, Marvin does, doesn't have much time left. Combat knife. Yeah, I'm gonna need that knife just to open my way around because for some reason the game is not gonna let me do it. Like I showed you earlier, that the infinite knife I have on me, they say, fuck you, God, God gamer. You're gonna play the game our way, you like it or not. So, like, that's pretty smart of them to do that. Dick move, but uh, whatever. Let's just go check out this little notebook right here. So, lion, I'll plant, and bird. So, let's just get this open immediately. Oh, lion. Plant bird. I'm gonna have to get that immediately and such because um yeah. Again, this difficult does not fuck around. I, the last time I played it, I was not having fun with the game. So I had, might as well be preemptive about it. I get the unlimited mission and just be on my way. So Elliot was right. Yeah, but we're not out of here yet. Alright. Can you give me one moment, Seth? I'm going to check my face camera fast. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, for some reason, my screen is not allowing me to go on, like, a full, um, small screen to check out the status of my face cam. Hopefully, it's working. Because, like, I don't know why it's not allowing me to do that. So, I just decided to go off screen for a bit and see what I can get myself into. So, I'm going to be using the little, uh, knife just for that purpose and just put this bitch up. Because I'm going to need that for later on in the future for a boss fight. I'll tell you that more in the future when, it, when I get to it. Like, this is way too early for me to end the episode here instead. So, I'm not going to get no handgun ignition, but I will I'll do it. Let's get some herbs along the way. Because I'm definitely going to need them. Cause like I just hate to check the status and find out that my face cam is not working and stuff. Cause like I have a new camera right now, I just don't have the wires me to connect it to the computer instead. That's uh that's the only thing I have a problem with. Other than that, it's just like um I'm really happy to get this new computer. I really wanted to test this baby out and make uh, get use of it. Cause like um, this pro this camera is not too bad and stuff, even though it's a cheap Chinese camera and stuff. But what else can you do? You gotta get yourself out there. I mean, you gotta start with something. Shit. Ooh. I forgot to mention that um, in the Japanese version of Bar and a Bar Hazard, 
Oh, uh, they censored it as well. Like, if you play the censored version, then you get to see stuff like that that's uncensored. Fuck me, man. You hear it split open. And now uh, I'm not going back to that one room that uh, you see a barricade in there. So I can't do anything about that right now. So what I'm going to do is just try to run. Because that zombie's going to try to go, go through the glass window. Just like that. So, let me see what else I can find around here. Nope, bullets. I don't want it. <coughs> Record of events. September 25th. We're turning the station to a temporary shelter due to the massive all sudden outbreak. All police personnel have been instructed to make uh, the safety of the citizens uh, their top priority as we try to uh, accommodate as many of them as, as possible. So we're going to try to get as many uh, uh, survivors out there as best as possible. Well, the chance of that is pretty much slim. One of the refugees attacked us in, in the middle of the night, resulting to a death of one officer and three, uh, injuring three others. Uh, the person in question was quickly restrained. Uh, we believe uh, this was simply the case of someone snapping it under uh, intense stress. That sucks. It's September 26. A mob, a mob attacked the station today, resulting in a number of casualties. A few survivors were uh, were able to make it uh, safely behind the emergency, emergency shelter, uh, shutters. Sorry. We're surrounded as we all we are. Okay. It'll be uh, it'll be hard for for any of us to escape this place. We're not sure uh, we can uh, fix any of the uh, comic equipment. So we may uh, cut off all uh, from the outside world. Okay, we're almost done. September 25th, there was another uh, class at the west side of the station uh, around 1 p.m. 12 people died and there was only a handful of survivors left. Everything is falling uh, in, into disarray in, in here. David Ford. SX. That's my... I got the method of police station. I definitely need that. This bitch over here trying to get in. This bitch. Oh yeah. And by the way, these guys open doors. Don't believe me? Show yourself up, bitch. I'd be surprised you guys are caught up to me. Yeah, I can waste as much ammunition as I want to. This diary. I had to kill her because like she's gonna be a hassle to me in the future. I really do hope my face cam doesn't freeze on me and stuff, cause like it sucks whenever you record yourself and you can't even get to the screen that you want to uh, check out your uh, face cam. It sucks. I'm gonna be preempt about this. The last time I did this, uh, when I was trying to speed run the game, you guys started attacking me. At least I'm trying to play this game for fun. So like, when it comes to me speedrunning this... I wanna make sure you're dead. When it comes to me on speedrunning this game... I always had a hard time dealing with you guys. Hey, you stay down! Oh shit. I second that! Hey, you stay dead. You hear that? Hey, you stay that! Okay. So I'm gonna go inside this little room right here. I think I can pass this lard ass over here. Maybe probably too many fucking donuts. I mean, donuts are tasty and all, but don't stuff yourself too much and stuff in it. Making you turn, uh, turn into a woolly poly. This motherfucker. I'm gonna get rid of you too. Because you're gonna be a hassle to me in the future. It's better to be preempted than me uh, feeling sorry. I'm basically tenderizing his ass. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Also, if you want to find one of the trophies, it's up here. Alright, so let me just go around here and pick this up. Use the gunpowder. I'm going to be accumulating a whole bunch of acid rounds and stuff, because, like, in this round, it's like, at least I can get me a powerful weapon to deal with the enemies and all this very powerful in the future. A.K.A. Alvin and Birkins. If you guys haven't played it, then you guys wait for it and see for yourself.
So let's see what we got here. I'm gonna get rid of you too. You gotta be a hazard to me. Hey, you stay dead. Ah, get off me! Get back with a knife. I want my knife! That's just one of the kind! I'm not kidding. You're like, die! Get back my knife! I'm not kidding. That knife is one of a kind. Cause like, the last time I played this game, uh, while I was trying to speedrun, I fought against a boss that's really in Birkins. Next thing you know, he just fucking, uh, took my knife with him after he fell off the disc the first time I fought him, and I could not get the knife again. That's a second move for me to put up with. I hate that. So I gotta be very careful with it this time. I'm gonna try to use 9, 12, and I believe it's 7. Fuck! Okay, let me try it one more time. I think it was, um, 7. It's either that or. No, I was thinking about something else. Let me, let me try it one more time. I think it was 9. No, no, fucking, well, hold on. Nine. Let's try 15. Seven. Yeah, there we are, got it. <laughs> I was trying to remember how to get the uh, damn thing open. And, no, I can't find all the pouches into this difficulty as well, because the pouches that you know from standard mode are not there. They're just gone. So this is the puzzle you have to do. You gotta know each of the um the your partner's death um uh, initial, like their first name initial. So I know how to solve this puzzle right here. Yeah, that's what it says right here in this game. I don't give a fuck. Let's just get this out of the way. So this is M R. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. Actually, it's Ned. The other one is this is uh, Mr. G. Next. M R G. I'm gonna be holding on to that and put it in the inventory later on. Cause like, I want to get rid of the enemies as soon as possible. Cause like I don't want to be dealing with them in the future. Cause fuck them. Now I don't want it. I already have a really good gun. You guys hear that? I just want to hurt someone. Mm. I just want to hurt someone's like I'm making some noises out on here. Okay, one zero um eight, I believe. Nope. One zero nine. Nah, I don't want that. One zero six. That's a film. Um. Two zero nine. I don't have that. Two zero three. I definitely want that. Okay, two zero eight. That's all I need. All right. Now, yes, I'll take that. Get that out of my hand and um, two zero three. Oh, two zero. Oh, one zero two. One zero three. I don't have those two keys. A source of the locker room. It appears that the con keypad of the locker has been missing a few keys. I suggest that a person responsible for this mess of finding the spare keys and fix it right now. You know who oh, you are, bastard. Who else all fucked it up on this badly? Jeez, I don't know. Perkins? <laughs> That's the only guess I can give out. Alright, so this is. I need to get this out the way fast before the buster breaks through. You need to get this real fast. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got them for you. Hold on! There you are. Okay, now you can break through the glass. I'm gonna worry about him later. Or rather, wor not worry about him at all. So, so, let me see here. The purpose of herbs. Hold on a second. Green herbs recovers your health. Blue herbs gives rid of poison. Oh, red herbs it helps increase your uh, health to full beneficial. You can't uh, use it by itself for own um, health burn. But combining the red and blue herbs increases your defense. 
Combine uh, red and uh, green herbs increase your health, full health. And combine all three of them, it gives you all the uh, stats you need. That's all you need to know. Okay. I'm gonna put you up. I'm gonna put you up. I am gonna put you up. And I'm gonna put you up. Even though I could just actually, the more I think about it, I could just combine and just be done with it. You just combine this bad boy right here. And I'm gonna just put you up later on, cause like, I'm gonna be on needing that gun in the future. I know I said, I know I ain't gonna be using a gun right now, but I'm gonna use this gun in the future. This is Red Herb. It's a native to the Arc Lake on mountains, you can't be used. So just combine them together, and now it can be usable. Okay, let me just use this film right here. Commemorative of, of Portal. So, I'm gonna worry about that in the future as well. America, this is how we developed our films back then before we have got phone cameras. You should be able, you should be able to be grateful for what you have now. Next thing you know, you can be saying, uh, oh fuck this shit. I wanna just uh, focus on the the uh, high technology stuff. No, you need to learn how to Oh shut up. Like no, you need to focus on your high technology that you have with you. Get rid of this bitch! Wait, was this somebody on my right? Yep! Well, apparently that hit guy is an idiot. I'll worry about him later. Bitch! Bitch! Sooner or later, this guy is gonna come back up. Die! I'm gonna make sure you stay dead. Because the last time I did that, all of a sudden you start attacking me when you least suspect it. This motherfucker right here. Yeah, he's gonna come up. Die! Die! At least I have my revenge on you fuckers for the last time I played it. Ooh, cool. Headshot. The last time I played this game on my channel, next thing you know, I got my ass whipped so badly, it was ridiculous. You can be saying, you suck, Armster. No fucking shit, I'm playing the game in hard mode. And this difficulty, they don't fuck around at all. Let's see something, there's a little locker. Well, he was having a little, uh, pleasant time. Cap. You know, like Capcom. Alright, I'm gonna get this as well. Alright, this one, um... I hate this thing. So, I'm gonna just waste my time on purpose, uh, instead of just worrying about speedrunning this game. I'm just gonna play the game for fun, like I said before. Yeah, all you gotta do is just, uh, light the uh, fucking buttons on this thing. First, you gotta examine it, and then just light this thing up. Okay. Fuck. Shit. Shit. Oh, I almost had it. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Why do I keep doing that? Okay, hold on. Shit! Oh, fuck. There we are. Sometimes you just want to remember which one is it, and, so, and you just try to memorize it. And that's the key you're gonna need for you to get around places and stuff. I definitely need that. Oh, a little sad. You can't even get through. You just want to eat my flesh, you bastard! Die. You invade my privacy. You, fuck, I can't even say the line right. I was about to say you invade my privacy, but this won't come out. Okay, let me just get this out and I'll get to you in here. Because for the love of God, I'm 
I already know how to combine the fucking um uh, um plants. Damn, I just did it earlier. I'm just gonna put you up. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna put you out here because I'm gonna be using most likely my uh handgun for this one. Consider it's unlimited. Okay, so what else we got around here? Let's just put this bad boy up. Oh wait. So what else I need again? I know it's two zero three. That's pretty obvious. Is it one on one, one or two? Yeah, it's one or two. All right. Because I'm not taking my chances again if I deal with this whole bunch of zombies who threaten to kill me in this difficulty and to ruin my fun. I'm not doing that again. Because fuck that shit. I know some again, one last time, there's going to be a hardcore gamer saying, You fucking suck, arm sir. You got to play for shit with unlimited immunity. You know not a hardcore gamer. Shut the fuck up and let me play my game. Because, like, I don't give a fuck about anybody who's going to be criticizing me on how I play my game. Because, like, the next thing you know, it's like... Now, uh, people's gonna criticize you one way or another. You can't satisfy nobody. You're like, you know, it's like either you take it or you just shut up. <laughs> I'm not pointing out exactly who exactly specifically. Like, there's there's gonna be people out there who's not gonna be satisfied with what they see, and they're gonna act like all better than you. Say, like, fuck you. I don't give a fuck about those people. Um, who's gonna act like that towards you? I don't give a shit. I just don't give a fuck to begin with. Fuck them. But, like, when it comes to the internet trolls and stuff. They can just shut up and just enjoy the show. If not, there's like saying, Oh, you suck. No, I don't fucking care you only tell me I suck. Fuck you. Okay, um... D and Z, right? Or no, what? D... Diz? No, it was this one. No. Oh, wait, wait. Um... Uh, what was it again? No. Derp. <laughs> Okay, DCP. Oh wait, wait, no, 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 no. Now I remember. DCM. I'm definitely gonna need that, and I'm definitely gonna need this as well. Cause um, again, here's the thing though. When it comes to people who want to troll you on the internet, uh, no matter what platform you're in, like uh, uh Twitter or uh, Facebook and all that shit, ignore them. Fucking ignore them. Don't. It, don't even bother interacting with them. If they even watching your channel and stuff, and if they're watching your channel and uh, you talking about them, you can just tell them to say shut up and enjoy the show. Okay, to any survivors, consider, consider this a gift to anyone who's still unfortunate to, uh, to, uh, enough to be alive. Okay, keep your eyes peeled to those creepy fucking uh, fucks uh, that looks like the, uh, they, they were skinned alive. Lickers, we call them. Now, uh, uh, they're blind as bad, but the hearing is more, uh, uh, that, uh, the hearing more than it makes up for that. So as long as you don't run around like a total idiot, a gun blazing, or you should be on uh, slip right through them, probably. Uh, e either way, uh, make my uh, make like my grandma and creep around uh, as slow as possible around them. Yeah. Anyway, I'm not gonna. Uh, uh, anyway, not that I want to go, but the duty calls that, and I got a friend of advantage. Is that David Ford? He just um uh, uh made a little report earlier. I'm pretty sure it was him. Uh, I might give me a little barricade, just in case. Because I know I don't have to worry about that right now, but, uh, fuck it. Alright, so let me see what we got here. Yeah, yeah, by the way, if you play standard mode, this is where the fucking, uh, fanny pack would be at. But apparently, uh, it's not there. So that's why I'm, I'm trying to be you know, pretty cautious about this. Then those all, all, all corporate assholes, they cut me off after all I've done for them. But if that's how it's going to be, then, then so be it. I'm going to have a little fun of, on my own as the world goes out to shit. I imported the whole filthy pigs out of the steel all pan and, I'll, and set some C4. All I got to do is I'll detonate it and say, sorry not suckers. But it's no fun. It's over on too soon. So maybe I just give a little raving on loon or something that I'll really squeal about. Sorry. Yeah, maybe I'll give them a little old toy and I'll, I'll tell them kill the guy next to the all to you and I'll, I'll spare the others. I want to. He'll, he'll do it. 
hilt on you yell the justice and pride. Oh, but how many times did you get uh, go against me, your own superior? Yeah, uh, such a good cop. Uh, so good that uh, you had to die. Um, man, this, uh, this is fun. You're a fucking psychopath, dude. I need some music up for this. Yeah, he, he is a fucking psychopath. So here's a little C4 I stick to it. So I need to find me um uh, some items that goes along with the C4. That detonator. So I'm gonna have to worry about this uh, boot case later in the future. It's Marvin. How fast can you get back here? Why? What's up? I've got something to show you. It's important. All right, I'm on my way. First things first. Let me get rid of this bitch right here. Come on. Get rid. She's gonna cause me a problem in the future. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. Cause like when I was uh, test playing this game, when I was trying to get the other gun. Mr. X just shows up with nowhere, and this bitch just blocked my, uh, uh, barricade my route, and all of a fucked me over. Plus, was he in, like, 30 frames per second when I was shooting in the distance? Huh. I'm gonna use that as my escape route, just in case. When he shows up, cause, like, he is scary. He's not one to fuck around with. Are you alive? I'm just double checking. I'm gonna get this too, cause like, uh, uh, I don't want to lose uh, this knife. I really don't want to lose it. I know you're alive over there. Cause the last time I checked, you just start getting up and start chasing my ass. Yeah, I'm serious. You're welcome, Claire. Hey, stay dead. Alright, we're good. So yeah, as I was saying earlier about the internet trolls and stuff, like when it comes to people who like to act like they're uh, better shit than you, don't listen to them. They're just, oh, uh, they just want to act like I'm uh, superior towards you and all of a sudden, they're going to say, oh, I'm better than you because I did all that. That's your personal bragging right, keep it to yourself. If you're going to brag about it, just show it to the internet itself by playing your test play without dying a lot and without having anger aneurysm. Hey, die! Cause like, there's, there's just gonna be people that are gonna treat you like shit no matter what you do. They wanna just, uh, show you, uh, they just wanna act all superior towards you and say, Oh, I'm better than you, cause like, uh, even though I'm not life is shit, but I wanna show you how better I am to you, uh, than you. Like, fuck you. I don't give a fuck how you uh, act like you're superior to me, and fuck you. I don't give a fuck at those people trying to act like they're better than me. I just wanna, uh, entertain my audience and educate them as best as possible. But, instead of just acting like an asshole about it, why don't you just, like, um, uh, show the people how to play the game the proper way, for fun, and the positive way as possible, instead of just being a fucking negative Nancy piece of shit. And yes, I'm gonna be swearing a lot, this is a uh, proof of point, because I'm as realistic as anybody can get. If anybody, um, if any of you guys out there been put down for people who treat you like shit on the internet, instead because I can, like, they, uh, they get, they're superior to you, and they talk, type behind the screen, don't fucking listen to them. They're fucking bullies. Fucking ignore their ass. They, you know, don't have to tell them straight to their face. Just fucking ignore them. They can, uh, they can say, they can kiss my fucking ass and piss off. That's all you need to know. Okay, so. Well, uh, fish, scorpion, water. With all flaws. Fish. Scorpion. Boss. Where is it? Here we are. And by the way, if you guys are wondering, if you play the scenario B for any character, Leon or Claire, next thing you know, all oh, the puzzles have been switched around. So it's not any easier. Fuck. Well, that's what I get for uh, getting that out. So I'm just get this out of the way and then um, put this downstairs. I'm just gonna go talk to Marmor real fast. There you are. Come here. What is it? Take a look. Hey, it's Leon. Oh my god, he made it. You know him? Yeah, it's Leon. Uh, Kennedy, I think? Oh, uh, the rookie. Thought he looked familiar. 
You can make it to that courtyard, the second floor east side. Okay. Thanks, Marvin. I'm on it. So I'm gonna get rid of two items um, along the way. So give, me, give me a sec. I'm gonna. Get, oh, what am I doing? How stupid! Put a key inside there. <laughs> that don't make sense. I was thinking about this door, but I was like, saying, wait, what am I doing on that thing? How stupid. And while we're at it, I'm gonna just put the knife up and I'm um, not trying to use my ink weapon as much as possible because I really fucking need the ink weapon in this gameplay. And put you up. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No! Put you up, put you up. Okay, did I say two items? I meant uh, multiple items. So I need to get this book upstairs in the library I just left behind. Even though I was stupid enough to actually gather up a shit tons of them, but I'm gonna need the. I'm definitely gonna need the um, the uh, gunpowder for this part, especially when I'm gonna make me some acid round. I ain't gonna be worrying about the submachine gun and stuff, cause like uh, the submachine gun is good and all, but it's not powerful enough for you to um, take out some really powerful enemies and such, unless you get the AK-47. Uh, I mean, I know that's not the exactly name for the gun, but I don't care. I'm just gonna call it AK-47. Alright, so... This is gonna start here. Get the ink weapon, if I can find one. A guy on profit. Welcome to Raccoon City, did you know? Well, we are at home of the uh, pharmaceutical giant uh, umbrella corporation. Raccoon City is a vibrant, uh, dyna dynamic city with a long, rich history of its own. And this guy will introduce you to just a few of the more unusual points of the interest uh, our city has to offer. Raccoon City Police Station. The building in the center of the uh, town wasn't uh, always a police station. In fact, it used to be a museum. Who would have thought? Various uh, features like uh, the like the unusual clock on tower uh, and the goddess statue in the main hall remind us of the big uh, bygone area era uh, orphanage. Just a few blocks from the police station is an orphanage founded on and run by an umbrella corporation with the help of a generous donation of the, from business and civil uh, citizens alike. Okay, that's nice. Uh, the building is known uh, uh, for the uh, stained glass window. Okay, uh, which attracts on visitors from all around the world. Who'd have thought? Turns a museum into a police station. Good question. Um, let me see if I can remember. I think it's um, six to eleven. <laughs> yeah, I am good. Fortunately, I don't have that gun yet, but I'm gonna put it in the storage later on in the future. And yeah, I'll worry about it along the way. So I'm gonna just get rid of this key. And I already know, I just talked about it earlier. Yeah, my brain is getting to me. I am one of the smarts. And some of you guys don't agree with me. It's like, that's off. I'm just gonna focus on this gameplay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. Hold on a second. Uh, uh, Raccoon Magazine. Article of the Best Stone. The ruby that captivated Edward, um, the Black Prince, the Black. Pr the pearl uh, that the cream is a nail uh, milked all uh, dry. The diamond uh, that leads to the cream to the uh, 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 guillotine. Now oh, that sucks for her. There is no end for the number of the tales uh, related to the appeal of the jewels. Uh, this mysterious stone is simply the latest of the sparkles among them. Like those uh, other jewels, uh, this one of origin uh, is unknown. It's said that there uh, once uh, Odon, uh, a noble woman's uh, jewel box, and it was even dedicated to the rice king. This fall, uh, this stone that's uh, long uh, been uh, shrouded in legend will be on uh, display during auction. Okay, there are uh, there are served uh, to be uh, many eager enthusiasts out there, but dear reader, okay, dear reader, one would uh, do uh, well to approach it with care, uh, for uh, differently uh, lies uh, in beauty's uh, shadow. This jewel has turned out uh, caring nobles uh, who all uh, love this object uh, and uh, despots, uh, despots. Yeah, this, uh, these spots are more terrible than uh, Kelly uh, Gula. That's basically, that's basically a mouthful, to be honest. I never read, uh, say that word in my life. And we have uh, uh, the tales to prove it. Seriously, it's, pre uh, precisely, it's precisely because uh, these jewels are, are bathed in blood that, that their luster uh, stares out something in the hearts of people everywhere. So that basically uh, a cursed jewel. Long story short. <laughs> No, 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 I want that first. 
And no, you can't um put this uh, statue in first, and all of a sudden you can't uh, put it in the second time. Because they're going to force you to take it out. So what you want to do is combine this with this, and then put it back in. It makes no fucking sense, because you can just slurt, uh, slide it back in, but why not? Oh look, a Sailor Moon's wand. <laughs> Moon! Prison! Power! Don't ask how I know about the line, I just uh, memorize it. <laughs> Oh wait, no. I don't want to fucking combine. Just examine it. Oh yeah, it's just a rare mighty scepter. I can just uh, uh deactivate it. Okay, now I got that out. I'm gonna go back to the locker room. All right, I'm gonna go this way. Cause I really want to uh, get this out the way, and um, I'll meet you back in the locker room. Alright, I'm back, and um, while I'm basically going around this little area right here, I'm gonna put this over here, make it use of you, open you up, get the uh, uh, flame around, and get the grenade launcher. I'm definitely gonna use that bad boy. I'm gonna be holding on to this gun. Alright, so let me just try to put these stuff up immediately, because like, I don't need them right now. And I know I haven't saved in a while, so I'm gonna better save. Give me a sec. Um, put you up. And I'm gonna put you up, because I, I don't need you right now. So what I'm gonna do is... Oh, I'm gonna get this ink weapon and save her fast. And be on the safe side. Because, like, I ain't gonna start over like this. And I have to be very cautious about this as well. Because, like, in this difficulty... Uh, there's no uh, auto save at all. If you guys haven't read it fast enough um, as I, I skimmed through the game, there's literally no auto save. Literally no auto save at all. That's why I'm very very cautious about how I uh, spend my ammunition and stuff. And I'm using my infinite gun for this part because like I really don't want to be uh, dealing with that kind of bullshit. In the end, it's like uh, you'll be facing your own demise later on when you least suspect it. So I'll meet you back at the spot at the upper section when I got the uh, ruby. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back, and, um, what's that sound you hear? Oh shit. Fuck. Hey, Pally, you alright? You need some green herb? You ain't having my first day spray. Yeah. Oh shit. That's like the flames start blazing in front of me, and all of a sudden it's just blow my ass up. Well, that sucks for you, dude. I don't know how, how you crashed. You weren't shot. Hey. Or were you? Claire? Leon! I'll be right there! I'm guessing the Umbrella Corporate must have shot them. With the head out oh, with the scope? Can't you climb, Leon? Leon, we really gotta stop meeting like this. Are you alright? Police chopper, it just came out of nowhere. Yeah, I'm fine. I take it you don't have the key. Hell no. No, I don't. It's good to see your face, though. How are you holding up? I am hanging in there. Hell of a night, huh? Yeah. Did you find your brother? I did, actually. He's... <laughs> just when you think he can't get any worse. Get him now! Leon? You should get going. Come and get it! Get your dad right here! Don't worry about me. Just get 
Get yourself to safety. No, Leon, seriously, they're getting through the fence. Please, just go. We're gonna make it. Both of us. It's always nice to have one of us be very hopeful in a uh, Harris environment like this. Die! Damn, I can't even use a knife right now. Marvin? Marvin, are you there? Marvin? God, you gotta be kidding me. Can I use my knife now? Can I? Okay. It won't let me. Fuck it. Piss off! Fuck you. Don't like you guys. Oh, no. You get kissed my ass. Ah, oh, fuck this bitch. We got someone else in a fresh maid. We go. We're going for someone else. Fuck this. Oh shit, Clint, what'd you do? God damn it. And there goes Leon running away from the enemy. <laughs> I don't need that gun. Uh, ammunition. So I'm gonna use this one, for example. Alright, next, I'm gonna get this out. There's one more use for this thing, for the bulk cutter. Oh, a bulk cutter, my bad. Sometimes my grammar is a little bad. Alright, give it uh, instead of the um instead of the first A spray or the herb, I get the ink whip in. Alright, I forgot about that. I'm gonna get the flash grenade on me. And um uh, Yeah, I can just have that on me just in case, because like if I end up uh getting on the enemy, then I if I end up using infinite knife on that guy or anybody, I I'll have that force it out. Don't worry, I'll be right back. Hold on. Oh! No! Get off me! <laughs> Bitch! Uh oh. One coming from the door. Oh shit! Oh shit! I'm cornered! I'm cornered! No! You stay the fuck away from me. Guy! 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 No! 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 Fuck! Money! Go! I want my knife. That's my knife. You can have it. Oh shit! Oh that! Oh! Oh! Shit! Shit! Go! Like I said, this difficulty they don't fuck around. If you end up uh, getting bite by them, you lead to danger immediately. Oh fuck! Oh no! Get off me! This is why I hate this uh, gameplay. Why can't we fight back properly rather than use a goddamn weapon? I want my knife back. It ain't gonna do good for me every time I die. Fucking do this shit. Oh shit! You crawling for the fucking table? I never seen you do that. Guys are already causing me trouble as it is. Don't you fucking outsmart me, asshole. I gotta be very careful how I deal with this shit. Especially this fucking monster right here. Are you dead? I want my knife, I please. Thank you. I really need that knife. I hear you, you motherfucker. Fuck you. Okay. Yeah, that's the problem I was having with last time I played it all uh, on my own spare time. Cause um, when I was playing off screen and shit, I um, try to um, get the other gun and shit. I was having a problem with dealing with these guys, like big time. And in the end, it's like it was hard for me to put up with this kind of bullshit. You know what? I'm gonna combine it. Try to give me some acid round along with it, since I had the gunpowder on me. Fuck it. And then there was this, um... Oh, I already got that fucking thing. Give me a sec. Cause I wasn't paying attention to what I have over there. I was thinking it was a knife. Is there anything else I need to get in here? Cause I know I can get something over here fast.
No, I don't want that. I'll hold on to this, though. Uh, what else do I have again? Okay. Whew, that was close. So, when you have yourself for ink women in this game, in this difficulty, just use one uh, if you're about to face your own death and just be on your way. That way you don't have to worry about uh, dealing with this demise entirely. Alright. Um, I'm going to put you up. I'm going to... Actually, I'm going to use you. Because, like, uh, there's going to be some enemies later in the future I had to deal with. So I'm going to have to make a barricade. Do I need some... Actually, I need to just get the first aid spray while I'm at it. No, it's over here. There it is. And then, um... Yeah, I'll just hold on to you, and then uh, I'll just use uh, the barricade board on for myself. For over here. Alright. I just gotta be very cautious of how I get around places. I can't, you're gonna wanna use something like this. No! Fuck! Can I just on board this? Oh, yeah. Use that. No! Fucking diary! Are you serious? Fuck off! <clears throat> yeah, I'm definitely gonna be using this gun a lot, cause like, it's un unlimited. Get out of here! What the fuck?! Oh, headshot, cool. Even if you do try to go to headshot and stuff, it's not really effective. Okay. I know there's another boarded area if we need to go to, but I had to barricade that spot. And I'm gonna ignore you. And ignore that as well. Just run. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! No! Fuck! Get off! Go! 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 Okay. I hate that! I need to come over here. No, fuck it. I need to get that on board. Or on barricade with this thing and just get out of here. And I need to get this detonator right here. Oh, I hate when that happens. Okay, cause like, the route I need to go to is along the way. Okay, this all uh, barricade board itself. I'm not gonna worry about any more barricade on boards itself and on for a while. So that should be alright. Ain't fucking wrong with me, fuck you. I'm gonna hold on to the first eight on spray all uh, herb and stuff, so let me just put you up, put you up, get rid of you, because I don't need you anymore. You're fired. And also I'm gonna get um some red herbs along the way. Oh shit, that was close. Like really legit oh, I'm not kidding there. Um what else do I got? Okay. We should get. We should be good. I'm, I want to make this video as long as possible so you guys actually enjoy the little content and stuff. Because I've been playing for uh, uh, like more, maybe more than an hour and such. But it's, it'll be too short for me to end the episode here and there. I'll just end the episode when I beat the, um, on the boss in this game. And then just be on my way. Alright, he's dead, don't worry. Let's see what we got here. What's this? I'll hold that off for now. Because I'm definitely going to need uh, some extra space for this little uh, inventory. Oh, fuck. The hell is that? That's a liquor. That begs a question, though. Why does the director from the Resident Evil movie call them hunters? I mean, granted, they do look around like hunters and shit, but, uh, yeah. They're not fucking called hunters. They're liquors. Get it right, director. Do your fucking research. Like, you even know how the game works entirely. Okay, so, what I'm gonna do is get this little battery right here and combine it with this. Get that activated. And this is the little combination code you get from downstairs that I did earlier. 
It's all good. I need to come back here later in the future because of that. You, you'll see. Um, anything else I need to worry about besides that? Yeah, we're gonna need those. Uh, I may use a few uh, acid round for this part. A few is a keyword. Oh fuck. Um. Shit. That's what I hate about the uh, lack of inventory and shit. Hold on, actually, the more I think about it, I'll be right back. I gotta be very careful out here. Good luck, the liquor is on the other side. Good luck, you don't want to run around like an idiot and all of a sudden you get yourself killed by that thing. Oh, I forgot about that, by the way. Alright, so we need to get this uh, um, gunpowder and combine it with, uh, um, with the other one for an acid round. I'm really gonna need it. Nope. Don't you even fucking make that noise. I'll just get you and combine you with this. And then later on combine you with this. And we're good. And that should do it. I don't have any other items I need in order for me to get uh, this open because I don't have the badge. You had to get it along the way with um, the fucking ruby in the chest. That's later, later on along the way. So I ain't gonna worry about too much. So let me just switch weapons for this, or switch ammunition. Because I'm gonna need it. That's about as powerful as fuck against these guys, so you use it against them as your advantage. Shh! I think that thing is right around this corner. I'll just die already. Okay, good. Alright, now I got that taken care of. I'm worried about that room later because um, I don't have no uh, diamond uh, key. Uh, do I have any space? No. Actually, yeah, I do. The more I think about it. Yeah, I have some space because I'm going to use the detonator and then I can just pick some space from that later on. Then again, let me get this back out. I'm gonna need that. I really do, because like later on, once you come across this little section right here, this is gonna be a liquor. It's gonna hunt your ass down. Like once you use the dead in there, he's gonna pop out of nowhere. So let me just oh, wait. Hold on a second. Let me just get this out, and let's see what the note says. It says, uh, "Goddess, uh, bow and arrow, and snake." Okay. Fire in a hole. And yes, you will get hurt if you uh, get near the dead air like that. Oh, I hate this fuck. Okay, this part sucks, so... Goddess... Uh, bow and arrow... Hey, 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 you better wait! Bow and arrow, snake. Okay, I want to get rid of the, uh, the liquor immediately because uh, the door I just came from is barricaded right now. So I'm just going to have to be careful and kill this thing. Plus, there's a zombie in here, so I want to get rid of him. Wait for it. Okay, he's going to show up out of nowhere. Oh, I'm ready for you, you bitch. Oh, the only one shot. Good. Or so I thought. No! You're supposed to stay dead! And a zombie. Impeccable time I had to say, sir! Back off! No! You stay the hell away from me! Stay away! Die! Motherfucker! Die! If this was Death Space, I would stomp your head, like, immediately. But nope, the developer is saying, let's just knife him to death. Make him waste the mission, because why the hell not? Yeah, the reason why I did that, because of this. 
Plus, I need this out the way in the future because, again, I'm going to need my escape route as much as possible for dealing with Mr. X. Because X going to give it to you. I know it's going as it sounds, but uh, just trust me, he's going to give it to me, alright? Give me, like, a hell of a, a beat down the face. Alright, so let's get around here. So, so I get everything all, all filled up, ready to go. And I can actually go down to... I can actually go down to the um, um, room that I need to go to, and there's a um, little safe down below. Alright, so let's just get this out the way. Uh, okay, we're good. That takes care of that. Alright, Mario, it's time for us to go. Like it leads underground. Good. You can get out of this hellhole. Hey, Marvin. Guess what? I think I found the way out. Marvin, come on. Let's get you out of here. Let's go. Are you okay? Oh, he's turning. The brother's turning. Oh, no. I just go. Save yourself. Come on. Bad. We gotta get you to hospital Please, now. Claire. We both know how this is going to end. Get out of the city. I can't just leave you here. Claire, please, go. Do this for me. A brother to the end. You'll always be a brother to us, Marvin. Okay. Hey, Marvin. Thank you. There's no turning back right now. You make sure of that. Alright, so I'm gonna go face this boss and end the episode here. Uh, so let me just get this, um... Oh, herb right here and try to combine it with the uh, green herb. Okay, I'll actually just put this right here. And then I'll uh, combine you with this. I'll just put you aside because I'm going to give me some other items along the way. I'm going to put you up. Trust me, I'm going to put that thing up. I really need to. Because uh, the last time I played this game on my uh, uh, test play, uh, the boss that I'm gonna fight against right now took my fucking gun. I mean, my knife. And I can't get it back. I'm not kidding. I, I did it once. I did it at least once. I know what I'm talking about. So, you wanna uh, store that uh, infinite uh, knife you use uh, in your little cabinet as much as possible. Because if, uh, if you lose that thing, it's gone for good. Alright, so. It should be good to go. I'm ready to fight against uh, um, William Birkin. William Birkin takes a lot more hits, so just watch out for him. And yeah, have fun with the gameplay. Shit. Also, I'm gonna have to give me some grenades while we're at it. Alright. Hand grenades. I'm gonna get that in my little inventory. I'll worry about that later in the future and that as well. For now, this is gonna try to move on out of here. Hello? Hello? Alright, so let's see what we got. I interact with this. I won't budge. Don't give me that bullshit. You lifted the fucking bookcase earlier. Or the shelf. Or the cabinet. I don't care. Hello? Hey. It's okay. I won't hurt you, I promise. Do you need help? 
Here, you can take my hand. Say what? I'm sorry, I can't understand you. You need help. Why? He's right behind you. Uh oh, I can hear him too. What? Oh fuck. Brilliant Perkins, ladies and gentlemen. I will admit that the saving mechanic in this game makes no fucking sense. We'll get to that in scenario B later on. You gotta be kidding me. Oh he ain't kidding! He fucking hurts! Yeah, that burns all right. I'm gonna try to save as much ammunition as possible when it comes to dealing these guys. Oh god! Stay back! No, because I only got enough ammunition for me to uh, get by. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Run, 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 run. Oh, oh shit! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Easy to buddy! Whoa! No! Oh, oh, oh god! No, no, no! No, 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 no! Wait, wait, wait! Get, get that back out! Combine you with this. No! I don't want that! Oh shit! Ah! Oh fuck, it hurts! Shit! Oh god! The agonizing pain! Is this how you treat each other with love and respect with women? You sexist piece of shit! Come here! Run! Ah! I scream like Homer Samson, don't I? Okay, let me just get this. Um. No! Oh, oh, no! No! Ow! Too bad I can't use a knife against him like this. When you use a flank round while he's stunned and shit, just use your bullets and after him. Don't waste any more uh, flame round later on unless you really need to. Oh shit. Run! Shit! 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 Get away! Fuck! Get away! No, 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 no! Go this way! Go this way! Nope! Nope! Fuck you! Ah! God damn! He's relentless! Motherfucker, calm your ass down! Are you angry with your marriage counseling? Shit! I'm not your counselor! Don't be mad at me that your fucking marriage ain't working out because you being all a neg negligent uh, parent to your child or to each other. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, go away! Again, I don't want to use too much of my flame rounds because I'm going to need some later on. Oh god. For grenades. Oh, That's how I lost my knife. As soon as I stabbed them and stuff, I can't even get it back like that. <sighs> Alright, you done you safe, Claire? You're right. Girl, it's safe now. It's 
It's over. Are you sure? Yeah, I promise. Everything's fine. I just oh, need you to fine. lower that ladder for me. Will you help me find my mom? Your mom is down here? I think so. She was down here, apparently. I hope so. <laughs> yeah. Of course. I'll help you. Yeah, you're not gonna like your mother, Sherry. I'm sorry, kid. Like, even if you want me to like feel sorry for the mother, I fucking hate the mother in this game. I really do. The mother's a piece of shit to me. This way. I know it seems a bit mean for me to say that, but I don't give a fuck. Cause um, trust me, like this is a good reason why I don't like all uh, uh, Sherry's mother very well. Okay, so everything is all collected, so we're good. I'm not going over the handgun ignition, because fuck it. As for you, I'm good. It won't move. Have you tried pulling it, kid? You got it. Yes, yes, I did. So, what's your mom like? pharmaceutical company? My mom's always at work. I don't get to see her much. Well, hopefully you'll get to see her again soon. Yay, we will get to see her real soon, and it makes me want to despise that bitch very much. I honestly hate Annette Beckin. Uh, uh, I mean, Annette Birkin. I despise so that- where's your Hold dad? On. He, um, worked with my mom, but he's gone. Wow. Both of my parents are gone. It's just me and my brother. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be. It means we've got something in common, and that's a good thing, right? Yeah, as long as you don't face your own demise. Shit. Can I just put these things up real fast? And, um, uh, let me just get the, the ink whip in. And I'm gonna end this episode here. Cause like for the love of God, I really hope that um, I really hope that, that my face cam didn't froze in the middle of the progress and stuff. Cause like again, I really want my new camera installed immediately so I can actually make this work. And then later on, I can actually record myself doing this while I'll just have fun, um, not worrying about my face cam freezing me at all and stuff. Cause like hopefully it'll go by 60 frames per second and stuff. If not, at least I got myself a new better camera than the old cheap version of it because like the cheap camera is not really good if it's gonna keep freezing on you and stuff so I really do hope you enjoyed this episode if you do hit the like and subscribe button down below share this video who may like this content and also hit the notification button if you want to see more of this content in the future that being said on the video game crusher and your artist says catch on next episode baby peace